Just talk about the, how your team responded in the second half, the physicality of the game. Well, there was a tremendous amount of pressure on the basketball. Uh, I thought uh, Penn was a very aggressive team. This was a hard-fought win. Uh, we were able to ultimately penetrate and create some opportunities, but uh, weren't necessarily able to convert on every occasion. I honestly think that a big part of the difference in the game was a little bit of the energy plays that we ultimately got in the second half. We had a couple deflections from Holden, a couple blocks, which I thought were really key to bring the energy level up, where even the crowd appreciated the way we were playing. Um, you also had, you know, a, a loose ball steal by Anthony DeRazio, some other key plays like that that ultimately helped us out a great deal. Had we not given up some offensive rebounds in the second half, where they were a little quicker to some basketballs, we'd be looking at our, our defensive production and feeling pretty good about it. Talk about the balanced scoring and how much, obviously, having a bunch of guys in multiple figures makes this team so much harder to defend. Yeah, it makes us very hard to defend. Obviously, we have a very good scorer in C.J. McCollum. We know that we're going to get point production for him, and he's pretty much proven that over the course of time. However, there are opportunities with other good players out there on the floor to give us that type of balance. I think he has trust in his teammates. His teammates have confidence in themselves. It was really important for us to be able to establish Gabe Knutson on the interior, which got them in some foul difficulty early on, established an interior presence, and then everyone was kind of playing off of those two as well. Talk about that, that free throw differential in the second half. I mean, how key is it to be able to go, you know, was, I thought you saw you guys were 14 to 17 from the line just in the second half. Well, it's really important, especially when a team is giving you something with their aggressive play, their overplay on the, on the wings as well. There's opportunities to penetrate with large driving gaps. Um, you know, and, and there, was, there was a lot of physical play out there even on the ball. Uh, at some times we turned the ball over, compounded the problem with immediate foul, but it seemed as if in the second half we corrected that a little bit. We got into a slightly better flow. And we're able to handle some of that um, by still having an attack mentality, still trying to get the ball inside and have a little bit of balance as well. With just one day to prepare for Penn, what sort of things did you guys focus on in your prep sessions? Well, it's actually a very difficult team to prepare for. I give Penn a great deal of credit. They play with a great deal of energy. They play with a great deal of intensity. They've played a number of different players, so it's almost like a wave of different players, and you don't necessarily know who is going to play or step up to those roles. But there were a couple key things that we knew we wanted to try to take care of. Number one was a little bit of their interior presence because we have uh, quite a bit of... Uh, respect for some of their players and even their forwards that they can score on the interior and, and make, have the versatility to be a, a pretty effective player. Uh, they also spread you out with their constant movement with four out, especially with as many guards as they play, that uh, it can get us extended. So that was a focus to make sure that our interior defense was at least solid. The second focus was to be able to handle some of their side ball screens with a lift of post. And, uh, you know, they got a couple opportunities there, but uh, some of our players have play some excellent health defense as well. Thank you. Uh, can you just talk about the play, Gabe? Obviously, um, on the offensive end, and um, with his rebounds, he really was kind of the difference maker tonight. Can you just talk about his play overall? I, I thought it was important for him to establish the in, in early interior presence first, which he did. I thought during key stretches we were able to get positive point production from him, which we did. When our act, our energy level dissipated a little bit in the second half because they were getting some of the loose balls, he actually took a personal challenge to step up and he actually grabbed quite a few more rebounds, which was really important to see. We're going to need that rebounding production from him as well as his offensive production. He's a very intelligent player. He has a great feel for the game. And when we kind of get all those pieces together, uh, he complements everything else we do so well. It's obviously still early in the season, but how would you evaluate your team's play sort of based on your expectations for them at this point? Well, I think at this stage of the year, it's always a learning process. There's a lot of different scenarios and situations that we're going through. We have people in new roles and new situations. Uh, obviously, getting Gabe Knutson back helps us from our health standpoint. We're still without B.J. Bailey. Uh, perhaps we'll have a chance to get him back soon as well. But, um, you know, as we continue to formulate uh, an identity based on a sense of urgency, defenses, which is something we always emphasize, and we continue to distribute the basketball with good passing and, and the type of unselfish play that we normally have, have uh, I think there's a lot of things that now start to become a foundation. We start to see that they uh, work, they help us, and 
hopefully that kind of reward system of, of winning games and seeing it come to fruition makes us put our emphasis on the right things. Thanks, Thank you.